Let's see if they have any of the far from home Marvel Legends and it does not look like they do They have these new Barbie mystery minis <laughs> uh, Anything else new doesn't look like it. I saw all these last time. Yeah, same old Legends anything new Oh, what? They have Scorpion. <laughs> Hidden right behind this dude, Marvel's Blizzard. Why would they? Okay, that's really odd because I'm pretty sure I saw this exact same setup last time, but I guess they wanted to put him behind. Man, he's kind of heavy for a Marvel Legend. Is that a new one? Nope, that's Ant Man. Vulture back there. Nope. Nothing new. Twelve ninety nine. Uh, into those. Okay, let's take a better look at Scorpion. <laughs> look at that tail, long as heck. He looks good. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, I definitely want this fella. But I'm thinking, do I really want to pay 20 bucks for him? Because let's see, let's look at this lineup here. Let's face it, we know Mysterio is going to be hard to find in the future. Same with Hydro Man, maybe. I think those two are going to be the popular ones. And Scorpion. But how popular will Scorpion be? I don't think too popular, honestly. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Okay, I'll think about it. I may pick them up. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Let's see what this Walgreens have for us. Ooh, okay. They do have Spider-Man. Spirit Spider. It's my first time seeing this one. Looks really good, actually. But, ooh, and the Skywalker as well. Very nice. It's really good to see. I wish this box wasn't damaged and I might possibly get it, but yeah. Okay, so they have Spider-Man from Far From Home and another Scorpion and I dropped Electra. Uh, I was hoping to find Mysterio. It's Namor. It's Sharon Carter, I think. Electra and Namor. Okay, well, it's good to see Scorpion and this Spider-Man, which I'm probably not going to get. It just looks too basic. I mean, it does got the butterfly joints, which is nice. This is the upgraded suit, I believe. It doesn't come with the bath piece, as you guys can see. So, yeah, I'm just going to let him be. I may pick him up in the future once he goes for a lot cheaper. Old Electra as well. All right, let's get out of here. All right. I do see a lot of predators, man. They cleaned up here. Oh, they got three of these or four Pennywise dancing clown packs. That's nice. Oh, it's loud here. Sorry. They do have the Emissary Predator here, which we saw last time, I think. They have two of them here. Let's take a better look. Look at that camo. It's nice art. Still need to pick these up, but I'm not, pay I'm not paying full price. I just can't do it. Pumba. George Washington, Abe. Abe is probably. Oh, there he is. Eh, I thought about getting maybe at least Abraham and maybe Benjamin, but yeah, I don't think I will. Oops. Oh, we saw it last time. It was Viserion without his head. 
Sorry about that, Dustin. 12 inch SpongeBob? Is this new? Maybe it is. Oh, Fortnite figures, yes! These are 30% off right now. And I rarely see Fortnite figures at Targets. Well, these from the McFarlane line. And I do need Drift. Heck yes. And Jonesy. Even though I'm not a big fan of the skin, it's so plain, but I'm collecting the McFarlane line, man. I love it. I love this line. They just, they're really good display pieces. They don't have the best articulation, but display wise, the display value is high, in my opinion. What's hiding back there? Oh, nothing special. All right, these are these should be thirty percent off. So hopefully it is. If not, I'm not gonna pick it up. And I actually have a five dollar coupon from um, the rewards program because I bought something the other day and they gave me a five dollar coupon, which is pretty cool. It's from that circle program. There's. Let's take a look at Benjamin Franklin. Man, he looks good. That's a lot of details. But man, pops, they take so much space. So I'm like extremely selective on my pops. Uh, we've seen all these before. Golden Girls. I still need to get this fella too. Oh gosh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is such a nice set. And for 30 bucks, I think it's worth it. Just, oh man, if I get this, I'd probably just keep it in box. Because I already have the other Pennywise um, displayed. Now I would display it like this. This looks great like this. What do y'all think? Are you going to get this? All right. JJ Abrams. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Holy mocks. What the heck? <laughs> Eleven mocks here. Restock. It's good to see. Deadpool. Of course, no new Marvel Legends. Hmm. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I'm at the Marvel Legends section. It looks like they do have the Far From Home wave. They have the Doppelganger Spider Man. They have Spider Woman. Do have Loki. That's really good to see. Let's take a look. Look at Loki. It's the Hulk wave, and yeah, it looks okay. I like the face facial expression, but everything else looks so cheap. He does come with Hulk's leg, one of his legs, so I'm definitely gonna have to pick him up in the future because I want to build that figure. Looks like a lot of them have been taken, yeah. I missed it. I was hoping to at least find Mysterio and Hydro Man. I may ask them to maybe they have it in the back. I have Storm. Am I gonna pick up any of these? I don't may pick up penguin though I think this this set is gonna go on sale at Best Buy eventually I mean it will hopefully for like 20 bucks a couple of the vintage figures 
still have Luke Cage, Ghost Rider, Deadpool. That's pretty cool. Still have these. Fig Max. I really like this one. That looks awesome. It's a great school. They have some Power Rangers. They have the Lightning Collection. No Zed, of course. Let's check the Black Series. <clears throat> Well, they don't have the new archive wave yet. <clears throat> jump trooper. They have a couple oh, jump troopers. They have triple zero. Um, Alright, let's go check the clearance section. They're also having 40% off on all clearance collectibles. I wonder if it's an additional 40% off. Because, let's see, 40% off this, 20 bucks would be, let's see, $8 off. So, yeah. Not too shabby. Like 11, 12 bucks. <clears throat> Daryl, that looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's check the other side. I didn't have nothing last time that I was interested in. Yeah, nothing. Oh, by the way, I am wearing my Soldier 76 shirt. Uh, I actually got this from GameStop a while, like several weeks ago, for, for three bucks. Alright, uh, yeah, they don't have anything that I'm really interested in. So let's go to the Pops, not as well. Oh, they have Perfect Cell. I know a fellow subscriber and a, another YouTuber that I watch, Perf um, his name is Lucky Crow. He got this and I really liked it so I thought about getting it my, myself but I might be spending money on some other stuff so I may oh that looks so good though look at the details there's Napa he looks really good too I really like the Vegeta as well I wonder if he's here there's Raditz jeez they have tons of pops Anything new? Oh, they do have these Overwatch figures, so... Uh, I could... Oops. I could maybe pick up a couple of these, but... Because I do need Lucio. I'll think about it. I can't be spending way too much, so... Hmm. Alright, let's go to a different section. Alright, so I do have an ongoing trade with a fellow YouTuber and friend, Ricky Domes. He wanted this Ichigo, so I'm going to pick this up for him. I got you, brother. And they have, they still have this Krillin, Satan, Mr. Satan, and Saitama. And they do have a freaking Broly. I already have this figure, but man, it's really good to see him at a GameStop. Didn't think he was going to show up, but then again, he's still available on Big Bad Toy Store, so he's, they probably made tons of copies of him. Here's all the statues. Man, see, I really like these. I really like these Van Presto and My Hero Academia ones, but... It's those stands. I just don't like those stands. I could probably just make one, but... I really like this Bakugo one. That looks sick. That looks, pretty, that looks pretty awesome. It's from Fallout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. It's strange because this Walgreens doesn't have 
any Marvel Legends at all. Unless it's hiding somewhere else. I'll look at some M caps later, but they do have a whole bunch of these exclusives. Jango Fett. They have at least three of them. My goodness. They have this spider, spirit spider exclusive, lizard, toxin again. A lot of spirit riders. Jeez. It's really good to see. They do have this Jareth from the Jim Henson's Labyrinth movie. Actually, is an amazing face scope of him. He's probably 1999, but I'm gonna check. Maybe he's on sale. Maybe I would get this. Looks good. These are 12.99 right now. Ray Grimes. Kind of want these because I do have Michonne. Be nice to add these to the collection. Yeah, I think I may pick these up, maybe. Yeah, I don't know about Travis. I haven't watched too much of Fear of Wa Fear of the Walking Dead. I mean, the first couple episodes were pretty good, but eh, I kind of got bored of it. So I may pick up Rick Grimes for twelve ninety nine. Not too shabby. But then again, I might not. <laughs> uh, choices, choices. I'll think about it. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, oh baby, no way, they have Darth Maul, Scout Trooper, two Scout Troopers, and a Yoda, and Anakin, yes, <laughs> oh, feels good man, okay, so I'm actually looking for these, but I'm also uh, in the middle of a trade right now for, um, Ricky Domes and he is looking for both of these but the trade is for one of them I'm gonna uh, message you and you can tell me which one you prefer that is awesome to see heck yeah I'm gonna have to hold on to these for now before someone snatches it I should have brought a cart um, and let's check okay there's no new Star Wars here nope. Let's check the Marvel Legends. Looks like they have all the old ones. They do have a couple doppelgangers. And I think that's about it. Yes! Let's take a closer look. Oh, Darth Maul's face golf looks fantastic. Anakin, looks alright. Sweetness. Question is, should I grab Yoda? Should I grab Yoda as well? I definitely need a Yoda in my collection. All right, I'll think about it. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's see what they have at this Walmart. Oh, okay. So they do have Weapon X, Skullbuster, Gambit. I was hiding back here. Wasp and I almost knocked over these three. That was close. Anything hiding back here? Another skull buster. So there's two Caliban waves here. Of course, Beast has been taken. Jubilee as well. Holy crap, they have a lot of these Fortnite Jazzware figures. And this guy's the one that's hard to find. They have two of these. Wow. I mean, he's, you can get him on Amazon for $19.99, so keep that in mind. Holy crap, damn. Just a crap load. Wait, is that a new one? No, it's not. A whole bunch of Overwatch figures here. I'll have to remember that. Although, this Walmart is a bit far away from me. Ah, do they have any archive series? They do have Bosk. That's about it. All the usual, of course. Mm, did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. 
do that. Spider Man. Selling this at Walgreens as well. And it's going for $12.99. And this paint app is better than the one that I saw at GameStop. Yeah, man. They got a whole bunch of Halo figures. They got a couple R1 Bizarro. Some brassers. Spirit spiders everywhere. Bum, 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 bum. I'm a joker. I want this and I kind of don't. Such a cheap figure. Where are you at, Mysterio? And Hydro Man. It's good to see Proxima Midnight. Haven't seen her in forever. And that dude. All right, let's get out of here. All right, check it out, guys. They do have War Machine. He looks sick. There's a doppelganger. He looks all right. There's Loki. I like that facial expression, but everything else looks so cheap. And then here's Hydro Man. He looks. That face sculpt is amazing. Absolutely spot on. They have Scarlet Spider, it's good to see. They have some other ones. Citizen B, Union Jack back there. I think I'm just going to pick up these three though. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Check it out. They have the wild card from the McFarland line. I definitely like the Jazzware version much better. But I really like these McFarlane ones. They look great on display. It's really good to see, but I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna pick this up yet. To the Pennywise. And Mothra down there. Creek from Borderlands, $22, a lot of details, it's Blanca, that looks goofy, the new Star Wars, oh they got the Jump Trooper, a couple Jump Troopers, the Cheetah, wow she looks really good, she looks excellent. Huh. Yeah. I had the pen, penguin, penguin, penguin there. Got some pops. Perfect cell. They have a whole bunch of Overwatch figures here. I got like four Reinhardts. Here's some statues. Oh, they got Reinhardt in display. Nice. The static pose. Ronan. That's about it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, let's see what they have. Some Stranger Things pops. Yeah, nothing new here. Still have a whole bunch of these Target exclusives. 
told myself I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a at least a Abraham Lincoln pop, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't have space for pops anymore. They just take way too much space. So I think I'm gonna pass for now. Anything new here? Does not look like it. Does not look like it. They do have these Demo Demogorgons and they are actually $11.98 now. Nice. Ooh, okay. Might actually be time to pick this up. This tag said $19.98, but no, these are $11.98 now. This is definitely going on the Stranger Things display. Yeah, I think it's time. 12 bucks. Uh, they had these statues that we saw last time. Anything new around the corner? They have Stranger Things Cokes now. Interesting. There's Hopper. I'm actually on episode 5, I believe. It's okay. Nothing spectacular so far. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, check it out. So they did have... Oops. They do have the Hulk wave here. But it looks like Rescue has been taken. Rock Python as well. Union Jack and Beta Ray Bill. I need those. <gasps> oh, I was hoping they have those. Maybe it'll be in the other section. Well, they still have Professor X here, which is good to see. And they restocked on these, which is nice. Yeah, nothing new with these. All right, let's go to the, a different section. All right, so they did have Rock Python in the bag. And they do have Shuri, War Machine, and Union Jack, but I already have those. So, only one I need now to finish this wave is Beta Ray Bill. And that's it. Looks like he comes with the head. Yeah, the head, okay. I definitely need that. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I am at GameStop. And looks like they do have Marvel's Rescue. That's really good to see. She seems like the hardest one to find from this wave. Man, she looks great. And they have Shuri as well and War Machine. They have two. Two of these rescues. That's good to see. Two War Machines. A lot of storms. They have a Magneto as well. What's back here? Is that a Ronin? It is. I do need a Ronin. But not for 30 bucks. I'm not paying that. They have a Scorpion as well. Let me put her aside for a sec. I'm not missing anything. Man, they have like six storms. That's crazy. Seems like that's about it. So they do have this buy one, get one 50% off on all action figures. So that's very nice. Is this guy new too? Ezra? It's my first time seeing him. Looks very cartoonish. A couple jump troopers. Leia. A whole bunch of Overwatch figures. They have some Funko Pops here. Got Molten Man, Glow in the Dark. That's pretty cool. Three for 25. Not too shabby. I do really like these Dragon Ball Pops. Alright, let's go to a different section. I think I'm getting in someone's way. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm getting people's way. What's going on, my Rangers? This is the haul for the month. 
and uh yeah i did not upload for like another three weeks again um honestly i i had definitely could have made some videos but um i told myself in the beginning when i started this um toy hunting youtube channel that i'm going to only upload videos when i'm having fun and i'm only gonna make sorry i'm only gonna make videos when i'm having fun with it so um if you guys seen uh, some of my previous videos, and you guys know I'm extremely busy this time of year. So, I am, um, after work, I just don't want to do crap. You know, even if I buy figs, sometimes I don't even open it around this time of year until like a week or two later. Because I'm just so tired after work, I just want to relax, sit down, and just not do anything. But, as far as that goes... Um, I am thankful that I'm still able to have a haul like this in in a month. You know, there's a lot of people out there who can who can't even afford one figure a month. So, um, whatever you guys have, remember to be appreciative. You know, there's so much people out there that doesn't even have access to toys. You know, I actually went to a a volunteering trip to South Africa in the end of 2017 and stayed there for about three months. And I went to several. I went to a lot of um, poor neighborhoods and fed them and all but i remember this one particular neighborhood everybody in this village were living in metal shacks and i got to go inside some of the shacks and talk to them and none of them had none of the kids had any toys at all they didn't even have shoes so i don't know i just always think about them when i'm when i'm always not being appreciative you know when I have so much more than, you know, people out there who doesn't have anything. So, anyway, sorry. That was a, just a, a random rant. But I guess the, the main message is, you know, be thankful um, for what you have. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the hunting clips. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little rundown of where I got these. Um, so Loki, I actually went to went back to GameStop and got Loki and Union Jack. Um, and I didn't record it, but you guys, I think you guys saw them in the video. Um, but I grabbed, I also grabbed Hydro Man, um, Marvel's Rescue, Shuri, and War Machine as well from GameStop with the buy one get one half off sale. And uh, let's actually take a closer look. There's Loki. He looks like a really cheap figure, honestly. I mean, look at that supposed chainmail. <laughs> it just looks really cheap. <laughs> and the face scope is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. But um, you guys know that Marvel Legends um, Walmart exclusive that I have from... The Holy Grail video from a while back. That version is so much better than this. Like, this should have been better. But, oh well. It comes with that sword. And one of the pieces for Hulk. Uh, Scorpion, I already took him out of the package, as you guys can see. I know he's in a weird, awkward position right now. Because he's kind of holding these two figures back from falling. Uh, but, yeah, Scorpion looks awesome. Really good articulation. The torso articulation. Um, it's got the bendy wire for the tail, which is a very nice addition. Look at that tail, it's long. It goes way back there. I'll show you guys a better look later. Um, and then here's Hydro Man. Looks great, especially that face sculpt. Look at the, look at all that sculpting there. Looks marvelous. Comes with Molten Man's face there and then we have the rock python which i don't i don't know nothing about this guy reminds me of um cottonmouth but uh yeah it looks very basic and then we have marvel's rescue now this figure looks excellent looks like a sh figure arts almost And we have Shuri. She looks okay. Uh, I feel like she should, she definitely should have came with another face sculpt. 
where she's like having a big smile or something like that. Very cool character. Looks like it comes with like two gauntlets that she wears in the movies. I forget what they're called. And then we have Union Jack. I don't know too much about this character as well, but he comes with that revolver and the short sword or knife. Um, yeah, it looks cool. Comes with those pouches, which is very nice. And then we have War Machine. He looks awesome. But I'm I'm assuming his art articulation sucks. So I may I may pick up the figure arts one in the future if it ever goes on sale. I'm definitely not in no rush. And then here we have the Family Matters 3 pack. This is an, an Amazon exclusive. I pre-ordered this a while back and it came in like two weeks ago. Uh, and this goes for like, I think, yeah, $59.99. So if you want this pack, definitely go on Amazon. Um, they're still available. I think they're going to be available for a while. I don't know. Don't quote, don't quote me on that. But anyways, um, yeah, these are all characters who are related to each other. That's Magneto. He's a villain in the Marvel Universe. Well, he's sometimes a hero. And eh, that helmet looks kind of awkward on him, honestly. Looks too big on him, especially on the, the back top part. And if you look at that left side of the helmet... It kind of sticks out more. It goes down a bit more. You guys see that? Yeah. And I think that applies to every other three pack of these three packs. So Hasbro has definitely messed up on that. That was that's a big no-no. Like, come on. Bring out a red suit Magneto. And gonna slack on his helmet? I'm very disappointed in Hasbro on that. And here's Scarlet Witch. She looks great. Really nice face sculpt. And look at that hair. The hair looks very nice. Uh, really no complaints. Um, yeah, I mean, she's not all that great, but yeah, kind of basic. And here we have Quicksilver. He, he looks good. Looks really good. And here we have the infamous Pennywise, the Dancing Clown edition. And I really like this packaging. Look at that. It's Velcroed in. It folds out like that. And look at that art. It's got Pennywise dancing there. You guys know that scene? And as you guys can see, it comes with a lot of accessories. It comes with these two spider-like arms. And man, these take out take up a lot of space. So that's why this packaging is kind of big. And let's see, it comes with that face sculpt with the is, it, is that snakes? Or is it like dead hands coming out? I think that's what it is. I forget. It's been a while since I watched that movie. I only watched the movie once. And it comes with that terrifying face sculpt and this one. I right, this one, man. If I was a kid and I watched this, man, I would have been so freaking scared. Matter of fact, I want you guys to comment down below. What is one thing that you were so scared of when you were younger? I'll tell you what I was scared of. And I might have mentioned this before, but... Sure, there's some new new subscribers new subscribers who might have might be curious, but I used to be so scared of Chucky. Like he freaked me out. I used to have so many nightmares. Uh, I remember this one particular nightmare where I was on a trail, like a dark trail, and it, the background was all black for some for some reason. Anyways, there was this huge gray rock ahead of us, and 
in third person for some reason. I could see Chucky behind it on crutches. Yeah, imagine that on freaking human-sized crutches, adult-sized crutches. And then right when we got to the corner, he came out, and then that's when I woke up, you know, sweating like crazy. That was when I was a kid. But, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you were scared of. And if you want to you know, put more details about it, then put it down. I would love to know. And here we, you know what, I'll go to this here in a little bit later. Uh, that too. Uh, here we have Provis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. He is supposedly the evil master of doom. Now this is a Masters of the Universe classic figure. I don't know too much about this show and these characters. Um, I did have one Masters of the Universe figure when I was younger as a kid, and I I don't remember it being Masters of the Universe. It was just a toy for me. It was uh, Tusk. Um, I'm not sure if I have the Tusk. I know I have the figure, but the Tusk might be on the bottom of the toy um, chest that I have, but I'll have to check later. I haven't dug in yet. I only saw bits and pieces because I want to show you guys. Um, but anyways, yeah. Got him at GameStop for twenty bucks. He was uh, originally twenty four ninety nine, but got him on sale. And yeah, I don't know too much about this character at all, but he looks great. It comes with this genie lamp, which is very nice. And he just looks like an awesome, awesome character. I mean, look at all those details for twenty bucks. Definitely worth it, no doubt. And I may get Tusk in the future, but I'm not. Gonna, I'm definitely not going to be buying a whole bunch of Master of Universe figures. Okay, and then as you guys saw from the clips, we got these two at Walgreen, Walgreens um, for twelve ninety nine each, and these are like new, so I was very surprised that they were there. Um, and for twelve ninety nine, you can't beat that. They look great. There's Saitama. I don't know if I'm going to take this out of package because I feel like SH Figures or some other company is going to come out with a better uh, Saitama figure that has better articulation. But we shall see. And then we have Jareth. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's from the movie Jim Henson's Labyrinth. Okay, and then we have the Demogorgon. From the Stranger Things show. Matter of fact, I've been watching um, the latest uh, season of Stranger Things, and it's okay. Um, I think I'm on the, like episode four or five or something, but it's definitely gotten stranger. <laughs> Let's just say that. But um, I'm definitely still enjoying it, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. So we've been waiting for this fella to go on sale for quite a while. And he was thirty nine ninety nine. I can't believe he was that expensive. But we found him for eleven ninety eight. So we finally had to acquire this guy. He's definitely gonna look good with all the other Stranger Things characters. Looks awesome. And for eleven ninety eight, that's a hell of a deal. And we have these pops. We got them from Walgreens. Uh, I was gonna actually pass on this, but. I kept looking at the features and they look great. Look at all the details. That's a great looking pop. And I really like the character Anakin. And then we have Toxin. Don't really know too much about this character, but he looks venomized. I'm not sure if he officially is, but um, I collect a lot of the venomized pops. So I'm going to have to add this fella to the collection. And then here we have Drift. We got this from Target, as you guys saw. It was 30% off, and there was an, oh, I had an additional $5 uh, dollar coupon. So I got this fellow for $15, which is very nice. He looks great. I do not have this skin in Fortnite. Um, I do have this harvesting tool. It's definitely my favorite harvesting tool in the game. Um, but he looks really cool. I would have uh, definitely bought him if I was really into Fortnite still. But nope, I don't think I'm going to be spending any more money on that game. Don't quote on it though. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then we have Penguin. He looks great. Got this from GameStop for 20 bucks. It was originally $24.99. Or $26.99. So I think I yeah, I got them somewhere around 20 bucks, I believe. And then we have Gogeta. He looks great. I love that um, that jacket that he's wearing, the vest, whatever you call it. I really like the colors on it. Um, I got this fella from Barnes and Nobles. Um, if you guys don't know, there's another YouTuber, a uh, toy hunting uh, YouTuber named SoCal Collect Ugh. SoCal Collector, and he's always posting up. Um, stuff on Instagram when there's sales on stuff and he uh, posted that Barnes & Noble was having a 15% sale so I went on the website and got this fella for $46 shipped that's including tax and shipping so that's a very very nice deal I believe this fella goes for $54 on a big bad toy store and most retail shops so wow Gotta love that sound. That is the sound of figure arts. And all you who have figure arts know what I mean. Alright, did I skip anything? Oh, we got these two. Alright. Here we have Thanos. The Hot Toys Thanos. Um, I do have them out of the package. I'm going to show you guys a better look here in a sec. But I got this... Um, or, you know what? Let me go get Thanos. All right. So here is Thanos out of the box. What do you guys think? This is a six scale figure. There's the gauntlet. Looks good can articulate it now this arm left arm it actually comes with two left arms the other one you can actually bend this one is already bent and you can't do anything else to it except move its gauntlet and the reason why they did that is because the other arm if you bent it into that pose then it would make that awkward crease there and that could be permanent in the future if you leave it like that as you can see, it looks really weird. So that's the reason why they added this other arm here that's already bent. Which I thought was a cool feature. Um, yeah, I had to get this Hot Toys Thanos. Uh, I definitely had a, more of a connection with this version of Thanos in the Infinity War movie instead of the in Endgame. I mean, Endgame, Thanos didn't have a huge presence, in my opinion. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the armored Thanos looks great too, but this one is just, you know, it gives a different vibe. I, I did pre-order the uh, armored Thanos as well. Thanos is definitely one of my favorite villains, especially because of Infinity War and Endgame, and because of the acting by Josh Brolin. He looks great. Look at the look at that sculpt. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you know what? Let's actually get some. I'll get my two other hot toys. So this is my third hot toys. Uh, let me get a couple more, and you guys can see the size comparison. All right. So let's go ahead and put Iron Spider next to him. This is the I don't want permanent creases pose. Um, I'm going to put him in a dynamic pose eventually, but ha! Ah, I just want to hear stories out there on how how bad the crease gets, you know, on these. There hasn't been any uh, news about it yet, so I'm just waiting, patiently waiting. Um, and then, well, as you guys can see, yeah, Thanos, of course, is going to tower over Peter. And then we have the man, the myth, Yandu. R.I.P. my dude. 
And as you guys can see, Yandu is a bit taller than Iron Spider. And Thanos just towers over him. Man, they look good together. But I would love to have Proxima, Midnight, and Corvus, Glaive, and you guys know. That would be awesome. Man, imagine if they made a Cold Obsidian Hot Toys. Jeez. That's going to be huge. <laughs> It's bigger than Thanos, right? I'm, yeah, it is. Cole is bigger than Thanos. But, uh, yeah, there is the Hot Toys Thanos. What do you guys think? Good looking figure or not? Because with these corduroy pants, which I didn't even notice that he wore in the movie. I didn't know it was corduroy. And the boots, they look great and feel good. Uh, now you might ask, is this worth $376? In my honest opinion, no. This should have been like at least like somewhere close to like $300. Maybe $320, okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm definitely happy to have this figure in the collection. I actually got him for $376 shipped on eBay. So that was a very nice find. And I actually saw one person selling him for 358 shipped on eBay. So you can find some excellent deals if you're if you look out there. Um I almost got him at Sideshow, but I digressed. But uh anyways, let's move on to the Mesco figure. Let me clear these out and I will show you guys the next figure. All right, last but not least, here is the Mesco Wolverine, the brown and yellow suit version. And I actually acquired this from a trade uh, with Ricky Domes, who is another YouTuber who uh, does toy hunts, toy hauls, and he actually started doing dioramas recently too, and he's doing a really good job. So definitely go check him out. He's awesome, dude. Um, I wasn't really even looking for this uh, figure, but he offered it. Because uh, I got several uh, figures for him in the past month. So um, I couldn't pass it up. Um, if you guys see my previous videos, you guys know that Wolverine is my all-time favorite uh, mutant or superhero. And yeah, he looks great. I am so stoked to have this. He looks so much better in person. And I remember seeing reviews and I was kind of turned off because of watching the reviews, but now that I have in person, I'm just so happy to have them. These shoulder pads do look kind of weird, but I guess that's how it looks in the comics. I'm not sure which comic this is from, which comic version, but I believe it's when he, he wasn't doing too much with the X-Men. That's why he doesn't have the X on his buckle there. But uh, yeah, he looks, he's a great looking figure. Oh, that kind of was a bit loose. Oops. And again, Ricky, thank you so much for the trade. <laughs> it's funny, all the figures that I got him, while these items were being sent, he found them in the wild. <laughs> it's really ironic how that kept happening. But all in all. We both got what we want, and yeah, thank you again so much. And you know what, Ricky? Thanks a whole heap. You know what Ricky did? Let me move this fella. He added this. Look at that. I'll give you guys a second to figure out what it says. At first glance, I didn't know what it says, uh, what it was, what exactly, what kind of drawing it was. But if you guys look closely, it says Marvel Ranger. I missed all this, all these lines and stuff. It's so unique and so artistic, in my opinion. It just and look at look at your signature. Jeez, man, that looks so professional. You guys don't want to see my hand, my handwriting. My handwriting is so bad. <laughs> It's gotten worse. I feel like it's gotten worse over the years. But anyways, um, 
Yeah, isn't that so cool? Like, man, Ricky, you you have no idea. This made me so happy when I got this and saw it. You know, thank you. I really can't thank you enough. You know, thank you so much. I love this, man. And I really, I'm so appreciative that you took your time to do this. You know, I know it took, it had to take more than five, ten minutes. And I love it, man. Definitely going to hang this up somewhere. And man, it... <laughs> It just makes me smile, and I really appreciate that, Ricky. So y'all definitely need to go check out Ricky. Ricky, He's a wholesome dude, man. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. But uh, let's see. That is the haul, everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed. I know this part was kind of long, but thank you if you made it this far. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And special thank you to all the people who's been looking at all the old older videos and giving likes to them i definitely noticed that and i really appreciate it and um yeah hope you guys are having a great summer hope you guys are doing great in whatever you're aspiring to do definitely stay focused all right you know we all slip and fall and get lazy sometimes but try to keep up and try to stay consistent that's one big problem of mine i'm trying to work on it so so hard, you know, trying to stay consistent, working out, eating healthy, and all that good stuff, you know. But anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thanks again for watching. Of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And remember, we are going to be opening this once we reach 500 subscribers. And we're almost there. We got about, well, like, 50 more to go, somewhere around there. So... Oh, man, I, I can't believe we got we've gotten this far so far with subs. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And but yeah, we're gonna be opening this Marvel Legends Stan Lee package here. And hopefully the figure is not all discolored or anything. We'll see. But uh yep, thanks for watching everybody. And I will catch y'all next time. Alright. Ranger out! Peace!